Welcome back to The Elliot Life. Today, I am literally revealing the secret to life. Not only the secret to life, but the absolute elegant secret to effortlessly magnetize your destined dream life into your life. This is an extremely high level teaching. So close off all distraction and be present because it does not get more of the truth than the teaching I'm going to give today. Now, I thought what better place to do this profound teaching than in the beautiful green English countryside. I mean, full of nature around me here. And yet I forgot to bring my tripod and I am having such a difficult time finding spots to film this video. We won't think about that right now because we're just going to focus on the teaching. Now here's the thing. So many people right now are really struggling with things in their life. Things are not going the way they want. Things are breaking down. Constant challenges are occurring in their life. They feel stuck. They feel lost. The world is going through its own things and I thought this would be the best time to give you this teaching. What I recommend is that you listen to the teaching and receive everything you can. Write the date at the top of your journal and take notes. And three months from now, which would be mid-October, I want you to put an alert to go back and watch this teaching. See where you are, because if you put into practice this teaching, you will receive the second level teachings. And every time you implement what I'm saying and come back to watch this, you will receive the teaching at an even deeper level, which will help you ascend spiritually. It's very, very powerful. So pause me now, go get that journal, write that date, and then receive this teaching. If you've never heard me teach about the purpose of every single human being's life, let me just give that now. The purpose of everybody's life is to expand the light, expand consciousness, expand the attributes of God, the divine, the universe, whatever word you wanna say. There are many attributes of consciousness, the light. And one of those is ever expanding. It has an innate desire in it to constantly expand and grow. And a genius way to help consciousness grow is to manifest itself into physical forms, create challenges for those forms, and through those challenges, that form feels more of the light and expands it. That is truly our purpose here on this planet. Now, there's more that I could say about what our calling is and what our specific dreams and desires are that also helps us expand this consciousness. But today's topic is not gonna be about that. Today's topic is more about how to live life through those challenges. So if the universe works like this, by creating challenges to be used as the vehicle of the expansion of more light within us, then we need to align with that law, that rule of the universe, and learn how to flow with it. Now, how do you do that? Here's the thing. When a challenge occurs in your life, that can be via a person, a circumstance, um, an event in your life, how you act is not determined. That is a choice. So you either can respond from the light or you can react from the ego. Now that sounds very simple and easy. And yet this is where the effort comes in because the ego is designed to keep us safe, to keep us comfortable, to keep us feeling good about ourselves. To do that, it will rush in really quickly to blame, to point the finger, to criticize, to text somebody and say, can you believe what this person did? As opposed to pausing. The moment you pause 
is the moment you are consciously choosing, choosing to be the light. It must become your natural reaction to pause when a challenge happens. Someone says something, someone criticizes you, someone does something to you um, or doesn't do something to you. You don't get that promotion. Uh, a friend criticizes you, uh, uh, a partner says something or doesn't say something. Anything that triggers you, the moment you feel the negative emotion, instead of reacting, and pointing the finger back, blaming, critiquing them, how dare you, pause. You pause until you can actually feel excitement that this is an opportunity for you to be the light. Because you know that when you be the light, you open the door to feeling absolute joy and bliss. And that is the energy of creation. That means that as soon as you be the light, your whole energy shifts to be the highest energy frequency that there is. And so all the dreams and all the desires that were put in your heart and soul are now matched to that. Okay? This process does not occur simply because you've read books, that you've watched a lot of documentaries on these spiritual documentary series. It's time to stop accumulating knowledge and actually start embodying them. This is the only way transformation happens, where you put into practice being the light. So when you know this is the way the universe works, this is just the rule, life will start to become more easy. And when you use the tools that I teach you, it will become easier and easier and easier. And then just somehow you start getting opportunities coming into your life. You get people coming to you to offer you free things. You get free things, you get raises, you get bonuses, you get clients. Whatever it is just starts happening. So when you hear people talk about manifestation and that, you know, all you have to do is write down your things 52 times and then do this and that and raise your vibration, this is truly the only thing that you really, truly need to focus on. All of the other stuff is noise. It's a distraction. It's keeping you outside here. This is where the transformation happens. This is the way it wants to happen. This is the way you be the light and expand the light and fulfill your life purpose and manifest the life that you were destined to live. The universe, which is success, wealth, happiness, total health, total abundance, total love, total peace. That is the frequency of consciousness, God, source. That's the frequency. So as soon as you are that, that stuff just naturally starts coming to you. You're able to do the actions without self-sabotage. You hear the guidance to take. You know what to do. You say what you're best supposed to say. You write the book that just feels like you've channeled it. People come into your life. Wealth happens upon you. The synchronicities are like this. A good example of this is one experience that my husband had with a friend of ours. They had gone to see some live music in London. They were going to pick up another friend and they kept getting lost, going the wrong way and turning around different corners and going in different neighborhoods. And then whoop, there was a, a detour. So they had to go around here and there and, <laughs> and it was taking them so long. My husband said to my friend, can I just like turn on Google Maps and it take us the best way? And the friend said, no. What happened there? The divine is always tapping us on the shoulder saying, can I just tell you what to do? Can I just guide you with how to respond in this situation? And over and over and over and over, we go, no. Because we don't want or we don't know how to 
tune in to the guidance and receive it. What you need to do is plug in that GPS. Pause. Pause until you can reach the feeling of excitement that this challenge is here for you as an opportunity to receive more light. And when you get to that point of acceptance that this has happened for you and excitement that you're about to be able to transform something now and receive more light in your vessel, you then start asking the questions. Why has this happened? Is there a message? Am I sometimes the same way to other people? Maybe I'm too attached to what people think of me. What am I being called to be more of in this situation? So more of meaning the qualities of the divine, of the light. And I'll just put here some of those attributes of the light. Which one am I being called to be more of right now in this situation? Show me how to be that. This is a personal conversation with that divine part of you. Some people say to me, what I love about you is that your intention is not to keep people needing you to come back to you. You actually empower us to be able to do this ourselves. And they find that shocking because other people do it the other way. And yet here, I am about bringing you back home to your power to what you are, to who you were created to be, and what life you were created to actually live, enjoy, and expand in this lifetime. That's my purpose and goal. So now you know the secret to life. Can you make this your number one spiritual practice? That whenever somebody says something to you, whenever somebody does something to you, whenever an experience occurs in your life, like traffic or, you know, that another light bulb burns out or another appliance goes dead and, and breaks or someone writes you an email that upsets you, anything. Can you make this your spiritual practice to resist the ego self? that will want to criticize, complain, blame. Can you resist that? And can you simply go, all right, I feel triggered. I'm going to pause. <sighs> My challenge now is to get excited about this as an opportunity to learn the lesson and be the light. And when that acceptance and excitement happens, and you go, okay, this is exciting because after I'm going to experience so much light, I'm going to feel like I'm like this. I know because I've experienced this before. And I know that when I am resonating that, then another miracle happens in my life somehow. Can you do that? Can you make it your number one spiritual practice? Or will you say, that's a really nice video that Aaron made. And then you'll go about your day and you'll get triggered again and the pattern will keep repeating. All I can say is the same thing that I wrote on my Instagram. We don't get to skip spiritual lessons or sidestep them. If you do not have the life that you desire in any area, in health, wealth, relationships, whatever, the lesson hasn't been learned. So pause. Accept that reality, get excited, and then start asking for the guidance. And I promise you, it will come. And the more and more you practice this, the more and more the blessings will just flow into your life. And that is why I call this channel The Elegant Life, because that is the kind of life that we are all supposed to live. And this process that I've just taught you now is the secret of how to get that elegant life. Thank you so much for joining me. Make it an elegant week and I'll see you next time.